So, Dr. Karen Rentis again, uh, we, my great friend and, and psychologist, we were talking about I'm in the office, I'm having a dialogue with either a coworker or an employee or uh, in the practice, and they start to cry or they get angry or they have strong emotions in the room. How do I handle that? What am I supposed to do? So what's the problem if someone is crying or angry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that, I mean, I think that when someone has a reaction like that, that means that that person is, uh, is absorbing whatever you are saying. And I think that it's okay. If someone is crying I, or becoming angry, I think that we could allow the person to have, you know, that reaction. And, you know, what, how can we manage that? If I'm meeting with an employee and she's crying or he's crying, it's okay to, you know, have a moment of silence. Just let it sit, allow the silence, and you could even, you know, give some power back to that person by saying, you know, I know that, you know, you're having this reaction, do you want to take a break? Or do you want to continue this conversation later? Tell me what, how do you want to manage, uh, you know, this conversation? So allowing the silence and also giving power back to that person in deciding if you know he or she wants to continue that conversation that would be my advice great anything else uh, you mentioned about feeling angry or having like a, a, a like an angry response as long as we are not concerned about our own safety it is okay to have you know you know to, to sense that the other person is, is feeling angry it's it's just another emotion and it and it is fine um one thing with anger is that again we can you know give some power back to the person and if we continue challenging the person you know the person could become angrier and you know that could you know the person could be like more impulsive and say things that at the end the person might regret so when the person is angry, it's a good idea, okay, you know, do you want to take a break? You know, giving the chance to that person to recollect herself or himself and then come back uh, whenever the person it, it's, it's, you know, feels better. That's, that's, that's very good advice. Now, can, one other thing, what if when we leave this meeting, they give me the cold shoulder? You know, they give me the silent treatment out in the workplace. What, do I just live with that? What do I do with, they're not going to talk to me now for a couple of days? Well, I think... If someone is giving you the silence treatment, I think we could take that as a form of communication. It could mean so many things. It could mean that the person is angry, it's sad, or it could simply mean that the person doesn't have anything to say or the person doesn't know what to say. So it could mean a lot of things, but it's, it's a form of communication. Um, if it happens for a couple of days, I would just let it sit and then trying to find the right moment, the right timing when things are cooled down to have a conversation. That let's let's go back again and let's let's have this conversation again. But I just I would just let it sit for a while. Thank you. I'm gonna uh, call you up. Maybe I'll have you come into my practice and help me out the next time I have a difficult conversation. Thank That's you very much. <laughs> All right.